water pollution is defined as the presence of pollutant in the water bodies resulting in contaminated water that can affect human health and environment. Salt waste or commonly known as garbage is generated by human activities. One of the issues related to water pollution and solid waste is the presence of heavy metals in Selangor rivers. For example, Sungai Gong in Rawang polluted by the hazardous untreated waste released by the nearby factories. This action affected the aquatic life and disrupts the clean water supply. Next, the rising amount of solid waste and landfills also one of the main issues in Malaysia. The increasing human population in Malaysia also increased the usage of single-use plastic. Therefore, the inclining number of landfills causes air pollution by releasing bad smells in the air. Furthermore, the issue related to water pollution is the illegal waste dumping in oceans and rivers. The poor household waste management caused by irresponsible citizens that dump their trash into the river that flows to the sea. Thus, the dumped waste are accumulated on the seashore. Moreover, the illegal recycling factories is one of the common issues. They import small plastic waste from other countries and they have poor management on unrecycled plastic waste. This causes more polluted water runoff and polluted air that affects nearby people's health. Last but not least, the lack of water treatment in Selangor is one of the issues related. The funds provided by the government for water treatment is not enough. Therefore, the facilities are not up to date and causes water cuts issue in Selangor. There are many if you clear issues that you may not know. First, water pollution can cause a harmful algae bloom due to increased nutrients pollution from the human activities. It can produce extreme toxic that can harm and kill people. Next, the beach dumping is the when the ship illegally discharge untreated oil into the oceans since the cost of the cleaning beach waste is very high. The thick oil will stay on the water surface until it will break down by the wave and the wind. Dispersing the toxic will be harm to the ecosystem. Next is the e-waste or electronic waste. Disposal that is uncontrolled can be harmful and dangerous to human health and the environment to the toxic chemicals that naturally leach from the metal inside when the buried. And lastly is the polystyrene. It's been years since the Malaysia is posed a ban on polystyrene bosses. However, we still see many of them here and there. Styrofoam easily break into the tiny fragment, impacting habitants of the environment too. Next, I will present about the solutions to solve these issues. First is plant more trees. By planting more trees, it will benefit the environment by supplying oxygen, improving air quality, reducing climate change, maintaining soil and providing habitat for wildlife. Trees also filter the air by absorbing pollutants and also eliminating dust. Hence, we as a good society need to plant more trees everywhere including our house. Next is reduce plastic usage. Plastic products such as bottle and straw are the main enemy to our ocean. It is because many marine species are ingested by plastic debris which causes severe injuries, death and pollution. To avoid that, we need to recycle this plastic properly as to convert them to a new and useful plastic product. Last but not least, don't waste water. Clean water is necessary for life as to drink, wash dishes and so on. Please use clean water when needed only. Remember that less we consume, the less pollution we create. The less pollution we create, the more beneficial it is to our environment. Next is the development to minimize solid waste and water pollution in our country. First, reuse reduce recycle system. This system is very effective method to reduce the problem of solid waste that occurs in our country. With this system, we know that we can reuse uh, the wasted equipment in a good way to save our cost as well. For example, the use of tires as flower pots. In addition, to reduce solid waste, we can recycle unused items such as scrap metal, plastics and oil. With this, we can reduce the waste of unused items. Second is Smart Storm Water System. It is an innovative project of the government of nature to solve the water pollution and wastewater and also flooding problem in the city center of Kuala Lumpur. It is widely used also in new residential areas. For example, 
artificial lakes and artificial river. With this, we can control the cleanness of water for continuing to be polluted. Lastly, rainwater harvesting. Rainwater harvesting is the simple process or technology used to conceive warm water by collecting, storing, conveying and purifying of rainwater that run off from the rooftop, park, roads, open ground for later use. It's also a technique for treating water for daily use. With the constant water problems in our country, we can use this rainwater harvesting system to reduce the demand for a lot of water. Rainwater harvesting is a user-friendly system and keep, can keep our environment from being further polluted. Life green, love green, be green. We are just mankind without the earth. We are nothing.